跌樣廿個老婆喎、啊。咁又係㗎，真係名副其實。A taxi may be the fastest way to get around, but nothing beats a Rolls for style. Stephen Ma has made these cars his life. Within only one year, I bought totally ten already, but I still want to get more. Mark runs a Rolls Royce rental agency, but he grew up on Carlos Lama Island, the son of vegetable farmers. And one day when I、uh, came to like Hong Kong, the city, and I saw all the cars. One day I saw、uh, the European people and getting the bigger car. I said, "What's this car?" He said, "You stupid guys! This is the the most famous car in the world. It's a Rolls Royce." I said. Wow, is it expensive? Of course, it's only rich people can have it. And then I said, pick it up. I'm going from a very poor farm. He's a human being. I'm a human being. But someday, I definitely have the car better than yours. A lot of people like to rent a Rolls and drive around the city to impress their friends and strangers.、Uh, once you drive through the city, right? You drive the city or around the road. Everybody look at you. They have all funny eyes look at you. And you will sit inside the car, and people very curious, and they look at you like this. Oh, who's the billionaire inside the car? But we used ours to escape the It's city. It's been said that Hong Kong has more Rolls Royces per capita than anywhere else in the world, but prestige doesn't pay the bills. There's no express lane at the toll booths to make life easier for the 2,000 plus models in the territory. Apparently, it's much more fun to ride in a classic Rolls than to drive one. Our driver complained that the stylish mirrors are small and hard to use, the dashboard is too high, and the cars are too heavy to move very fast. But the aura of the Rolls is seductive. It may be that all you need is love, and this car just might help you find it. I remember one day when I sit with my girlfriend.、Uh, no matter what, you just meet her one day. And she would fall in love with you. A stop at a little country store to pick up some essentials for our picnic, and finally we've made it to our destination, a remote World War II memorial in Sai Kung. Now we can break out the gear and set up the picnic. It's been a long journey, and of course we need to unwind. First, a little sightseeing at the war memorial while our trusty chariots cool off. Then a photo opportunity to document the unusual wildlife in the area. People just don't expect a pair of classic Rolls Royces to pull up way out here. These kite flyers were so surprised they got their lines crossed. Time to dig into our camping grub. Nothing fancy, but then everything goes better with champagne. <laughs> That's it for this week's Focus on Adventure. See you again next Thursday. I can't promise it will be quite as luxurious as this week, but it could very well be something you've never done before. See you then.